If you come from a computer science background, you might have heard about the term virtual machines. But what is it and why do they even exist? In this video, I'm going to talk about what are virtual machines and how you can even run virtual machines in your system. Coming up. All right, as the word says, virtual machines, which means a machine that physically does not exist. To give an example, uh, say suppose you have a computer that runs on Windows 10, right? But you want to run a Windows 7 on it. What are you going to do it? You're going to remove Windows 10, right? And then you're going to install Windows 7 on it. But hang on, you would surely like to find some other ways for it. You don't want to remove your Windows 10, but you also want to run Windows 7 at the same time. This is where virtual machines really come into play. What virtual machines actually do is they help you run different operating system in your laptop or in your computer or in your server at the same time. Say suppose, I have Windows 10 in it, what I would do, I would install a virtual machine software. One of the examples for that would be your VMware. So what I would do, if I have a Windows 10, I'm going to install VMware in my laptop. And when I open that VMware, inside VMware, I can decide which operating system that I need to install. I can either install Windows XP, I can either install Linux, or Ubuntu or uh, maybe Windows 7, whatever it may be. So I can install a new operating system inside that virtual machine software. One of the biggest advantage for this would be that I need not uninstall my existing operating system, right? And at the same time, I can run a new or a different operating system also. But how does it work? Say suppose when you install an operating system inside your uh, virtual machines, it will ask you what are the configurations that you want. I mean, if you have a laptop, it may have 2 GB of RAM and uh, uh, say uh, 1 TB of hard disk. In the same way, you can also give the same configurations for your virtual machines. Say if you're installing a Windows uh, 7, you may say, okay, fine, I need to give it 256 MB of RAM and say 500 MB of hard disk. So what it would do, it would take that much of space from your actual laptop or a computer and give it to the new operating system. And that space now cannot be utilized by your laptop. Okay, while, while your virtual machine is active. It's very easy, uh, you'll get an uh, icon on your desktop, you just double click it and your new operating system will start. And if you just minimize it, uh, you can get back your existing operating system, right? So it's very flexible and uh, the configurations are actually shared by our uh, real laptop or the actual laptop or a computer. But the question is, why would you like to do that? Now, uh, as I have been talking about, to run different operating softwares, I mean, to run different operating uh, system. Because uh, at times, if you're a developer, you would like to run two different operating system at the same time. So that is the first uh, uh, reason. Second one would be that uh, if you have Windows 10, right, and if you want to develop applications for some older versions, say maybe a Windows 7, right, you're not going to uninstall Windows 10. You don't want that. You can install a VMware, again, a virtual machine software. Inside that, you can install Windows 10, or I mean, inside, you can install Windows 7 and uh, then start developing apps for Windows 7, right? So it helps you also run uh, or build apps for some older operating system. Third one would be, uh, say suppose if you have a software that is not tested, right? So it's not tested, it, it might have some malicious functionality and if you don't want to, uh, you know, uh, take risk with your laptop, what you would do is install VMware, inside that you would install an operating system and in that computer actually, right, in that computer you will install that software. 
So even if have it has some of the uh, malicious functions, uh, it would uh, affect that operating system, or you can say it will affect that environment or a portion of a computer. It is not going to uh, affect your entire uh, laptop or entire computer. So uh, that is one of the very good uh, advantage. Uh, other developers also uh, install this virtual machines on the cloud. Suppose they have their server on the cloud. Uh, if they have a certain operating system installed over there, they would like to uh, then also test on different software. So they also in install it on cloud, but that's a different deal. But uh, just to take a simple uh, overview, virtual machines is actually running uh, a uh, entire computer okay an entire new operating system in your existing laptop uh, at the same time the same configuration or the same operating system of your laptop remains the same so it is like a laptop inside which there's one new laptop that has a different operating system i hope it cleared your doubts and uh, yeah a couple of examples for this virtual machines would be, as I said, one is your VMware, uh, this second called Red Hat Virtualizations, um, the third one would be your Oracle VirtualBox, and there are many more. Okay, so uh, if you want, you can do that. I would prefer go with VMware, they are quite uh, reliable. I hope this cleared your doubt. Uh, my name is Stephen Simon. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel as I bring new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.